Some days hyperbole isn't good enough. Unprecedented, breathtaking, extraordinary, earth-shaking, historic. Just some of the words that have been used to try to describe these events. But none really told the story. This was a story told not in words, but in the look in people's eyes. They didn't just topple the symbol of a tyrant, they turned their world upside down too. A world not so much led by one man as a world of one man. Saddam and his ubiquitous image was Iraq. All power, all wealth, all life flowed from him. To have even whispered a seditious word before today meant imprisonment, torture, and probably death. To have defaced the image of the Sun King, let alone to pull it down and pound it to dust, was unthinkable. Today the unthinkable became not just the possible, but the necessary. The only way to exercise the evil of the past. He had seemed not just omnipotent, but invincible, with a vice-like grip on every facet of power. But his vaunted legions didn't fight, at least not the way an army is supposed to fight. And his officially adoring people didn't resist, at least not in the way he told them to resist. Instead, they did what they had always done because of him. They suffered and endured, and they waited. And when the prospect of liberation rolled into town, when they could see it was real, that they were truly witnessing the end of days, slowly they rubbed their eyes and emerged from the shadows of their own lives and came out of the darkness. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Kuwait.